Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to change uh, the swap memory. This is um, something akin to um, virtual memory if you're used to using Windows operating system. But in Linux, we call it swap memory. It's called, it's kind of like um, back in the old days when we had DOS and stuff like that. It's called, it's called a RAM disk or something. So when your computer runs out of uh, physical RAM memory, what it does is it goes, it uses your storage device as kind of like a temporary memory. So this is a lot slower than your um, RAM, but it will prevent your computer from crashing when it runs out of physical RAM. So that's all it is. So let's start. So open up terminal. Let's see how much uh, swap memory that I have right now. Type in free uh, slash H. So I have 1.8 gigabytes of swap or virtual memory. I have 3.6 gigabytes of regular memory. So I want to increase my swap memory. So let's see. First, I want to see uh, what my swap memory is, actually. Okay, so it's 1.8 gigabytes. That's all I have. And I want to increase that to 8 gigabytes. So I typed in this command to go into my ZRAM settings in RBN to change the numbers. I'm going to widen this a little bit so you can see better. So of course this service is on, so enabled is true. So I want to change a few things. Just use your uh, arrow keys to navigate. The percentage, I want to set that to 200%. Just keep pressing down. Temp size. So that's 8,000 megabytes, so that'd be 8 gigabytes. So I want to save it. It's Control X, press Y, enter. I want to reboot my operating system so I could get the changes that I want. I want to see if the changes were made. Okay, that's good. So my uh, memory is 4 gigabytes, so it's just 3.6 gigabytes. I have swap memory at 7.3 gigabytes. That's about 8 gigabytes. Now I have eight gigabytes of swap memory. So now I got considerably more virtual memory, which is good. So if I'm running a lot of apps, uh, my uh, operating system isn't gonna crash. I guess if you had less and if you run out, it would crash. 
but now it's not going to crash which makes my operating system more stable. If I had a lot more system memory, let's say like eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes, um, I really wouldn't have to use swap memory, but right now I only have four, so I guess it's a good idea to do that. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'll leave all the commands in the video description below and Feel free to comment if you want and thanks for watching.